Welcome to video one for this unit on linear equations and linear systems. In this video, we're going to focus on solving linear equations in one variable. We can think of a balanced hanger as a metaphor for an equation. If we have equal weights on the ends of a hanger, then the hanger will be in balance. If there is more weight on one side than the other, the hanger will tilt to the heavier side. Now consider this balanced hanger. On the left side, there is one square represented by A and two triangles represented by 2B. On the right side, there are five triangles represented by 5B. Because the hanger is balanced, we know the two sides are equal in value. So the hanger can be represented by the equation a plus 2b equals 5b. If we have a balanced hanger and add or remove the same amount of weight from each side, the result will still be in balance. Let's remove two triangles from each side. The resulting equation is a equals 3b. An equation tells us that two expressions have equal value. For example, if 4x plus 9 and negative 2x minus 3 have equal value, we can write the equation 4x plus 9 equals negative 2x minus 3. Hangers help us understand that if we add the same positive number to each side of the equation, the sides will still have equal value. It also works if we add negative numbers. For example, we can add negative 9 to each side of the equation. Combining like terms results in the equation 4x equals negative 2x minus 12. Since expressions represent numbers, we can also add expressions to each side of the equation. For example, we can add 2x to each side and still maintain equality. Four x plus two x is six x, and negative two x plus two x minus twelve is negative twelve. If we multiply or divide the expression on each side of an equation by the same number, we will also maintain the equality, so long as we do not divide by zero. So we could multiply each side by one-sixth. Or instead of multiplying by one-sixth, we can divide each side of the equation by six. Now we can see that x equals negative 2 is the solution to our equation. Remember, a solution to an equation is a number that can be used in place of the variable to make the equation true. Once we determine a solution, how do we make sure the solution we find for an equation is correct? Fortunately, each step we take solving an equation results in a new equation with the same solution as the original. This means we can check our work by substituting the value of the solution into the original equation. For example, say we solve the following equation this way. Substituting 3 in place of x into the original equation we get a statement that isn't true. This tells us that we have made a mistake somewhere. Checking our original steps carefully, we made a mistake when distributing negative 3. Fixing it We now have x equals negative 3 as the solution to the equation. 
We can substitute negative 3 in place of x into the original equation to make sure we didn't make another mistake. This equation is true, so x equals negative 3 is the solution. Accidentally adding when we meant to subtract, missing a negative when we distribute, forgetting to write an x from one line to the next, there are many possible mistakes to watch out for. Using substitution to check our work can help us notice and correct them. Thank you for watching video 1 of 5 for this unit on linear equations and linear systems.